Welcome everyone to Biggs' Home Cooking. I'm Biggs and today we're going to be doing a cookout on the Weber Performer using a slow and sear and we're going to smoke up a corned beef brisket. So stay tuned and let's see the final result together. Okay, so for this cook I have uh, Angus flat cut uh, corned beef brisket. So uh, let me get this out of the package and rinsed off and uh, we'll season it up. Be right back. Okay, so I got my uh, corned beef brisket uh, washed. This is uh, coming in at about four and a half pounds, this piece of meat. All right, so for starters, I'm going to put some Gravy Master on it. This will give it that caramel color and some flavoring. All right, and I'll rub that in all over both sides. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm uh, gonna wash my hands and uh, we'll mix up my spices. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so for my spice mix, I have uh, some whole coriander seed that I ground up, some uh, peppercorns and uh, some mustard seed and I got about uh, two tablespoons of each so let's get this mixed together and apply it to our meat okay oh smells great okay Let's just apply this. Okay, so there you got it. Uh, just going to let this sit for probably about four hours. And then we'll uh, get the grill going. I'm going to be doing this out of my Weber Performer using the slow and sear. Okay, we'll catch you back. Okay, so... Uh we're gonna get this uh, corned beef brisket on the uh, on the smoker, and we'll uh, we'll get this cook going. Let me light the coals here right now, and uh, we'll let those go for about ten minutes, and then we'll place them in our uh, coal basket here. Got the slow and sear set up with the drip pan okay so we'll see you in 10 okay it's been about 10 minutes let's check on the coals okay perfect get these dumped on here right in the middle here where I left a little opening Okay, get those spread around a little bit, just so I can get my grate on, flatten it out. Okay, let me uh, get my grate on here and uh, put a chunk of wood on and we'll get the meat on. Alright, see you back here in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to put my uh, grate on. And I'm just going to add my uh, hickory chunk right on top here. This way it burns a little slower. The uh, smoke isn't as intense. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me get this covered. And we'll let this calm down for a bit and I'll throw the meat on. See you back in a moment. Okay, so the uh, smoker's been going for about another five minutes. I got a little bit of smoke rolling there. I'm going to take the, uh, the meat and put her on. All 
ready. I got my uh, air probe hooked up for the pit temp. And we'll see what that comes out to be. And in the meantime, I'm going to stick the uh, this down as a little extra drip pump. Okay. And I'm just going to fill this up with some water. And I want to cook this at about 275, maybe 300. All right, so uh, we'll let that go. We'll catch you back out here and we'll check the pit temp later. Okay, just coming out here to check on the uh, temp of the uh, pit. Uh, looks like we're dialed in at about 276, 277. And we got a nice little light smoke rolling. I'm going to give this baby a turn around already. Okay. Hoping this is done in about, uh, you know, five to six hours. Uh, when the temp comes up to about 165 or so, I'm going to wrap first in some uh, food plastic wrap and then in some tin foil. All right, okay, we'll see you when that time comes. Later. Okay, we're back out here. Uh, just checking my uh, pit temp. Looks to be about 297. And I'm just going to uh, check the temp of the meat. Pretty soft already. Uh, I'm showing there about 165, 171, and 170. So I'm going to pull this, I'm going to wrap it, and I'll put it back on uh, to, you know, until it gets to about to around 200. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, I'm going to wrap this. Like I said, I'm going to wrap it in plastic wrap, food wrap. Because this is what they do the last uh, part of cooking. They steam the pastrami. So that'll keep it nice and tight. That's hot. There you have it. Okay, so let's get this back on. Woo! That's hot. And, uh, you know, we'll take this to about 200, and uh, that'll probably be in about an hour or two. All right, we'll catch you back out here. Okay, we're back. Uh, five hours. Let's take a look. Now, I know this thing is tender. It was tender at 165, 170 when I was poking it. So, I'm not even going to check it. Just I want to leave it wrapped and uh, want it to cool down for about an hour before we cut into it. So, let me get this inside and we'll let it rest. Alright, we'll see you later. Okay, so uh, we're going to open this and we're going to cut into this bad boy. So 
Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's give this a little cut. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. Nice piece of uh, smoked meat. Now what I got here is just uh, some real good fresh rye. And uh, just going to put some of that meat on there. Give it a taste. Mmm. Delicious. Doesn't even need anything. No mustard. It's so good. Mmm. Alright, folks. This was good. Stay tuned. I'll see you on the next cook. Bye.